In the previous video, we talked about what we are going to achieve to this series of videos. We're going to talk about in detail about Data Factory, how to load the data from various on-prem data sources, and then do the staging area load, which is extract and load, and then transform. So it's going to be extract, load in staging, and then transform, ELT, to create a star schema for Power BI reporting purposes. So the first step I would suggest is go to Google, search for SQL Server Management Studio, and whatever the first link comes up, SSMS, the first link, click on this, and if you scroll down here, download this Server Management Studio, and once downloaded, it's gonna take some time, so once downloaded, double click on it, and this will open up. Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio is a free software, so it does not require any special software purchases. Click on install and it's gonna do the installation. Okay folks, so it takes a lot of time, so please be patient while you install SQL Server Management Studio. And you probably have to restart your computer. I'm not gonna do that right now, but please do that. The reason we wanted the Server Management Studio was to be able to connect to the SQL Server, the Data Warehouse Server, which we're gonna create on Microsoft Azure Cloud. So just, just a preemptive thing. So what you wanna do is log on to Microsoft Azure account. So azure.microsoft.com and click on my account, Azure portal, and sign it with your account, user ID and password. So once you have logged into the Microsoft Azure cloud platform, this is your dashboard. Click on new service and now you have to create an SQL Data Warehouse service. Uh, it would be in the databases section. Click on SQL Data Warehouse and enter a name. I would say my project. Uh, select a subscription. Generally it would be the account. Your administrator might have assigned you a subscription already. A resource group, uh, you can create new or use existing. Please talk to your uh, administrator of your Microsoft Azure account. My resource group, uh, you can start with a blank database or a sample. I, I just wanna do blank database. Click on this configure required setting, create a new server. You can create multiple servers under the same. So click on server name. I would say my project, it's, it's, avail it's not available. DF, data factory. So my project DF is gonna be my database dot, it's gonna be the, the name of the server. So it's gonna be myprojectdf.database.windows.net. Server login, you can type whatever you feel like and make sure you remember it. And it says, must be eight characters, so again, Make sure your password and the confirmed password match. Must contain characters. Okay, it needs to be a strong password. Let's try again.
select a server which is closer to you so I am in Eastern US and allow Azure services uh, okay so I would say admin admin 1 okay admin mode is okay so please remember these credentials for the connectivity from the S so we have created my project DF this is the performance level uh, you can choose the data warehouse units DWU is data warehouse units the larger the units the better the performance but make sure that you understand the complications of hourly rate so as you increase the the DWUs the UST per hour is going to be higher it depends upon which country you have selected to create this account from I have created it from US so it's going to be UST but if you are creating from Russia, China, Canada, India it's all going to be based on the country's currency. So at this point in time I'm not expecting to load a lot of data. I'm going to do 100 DWUs but if I see a performance problem I'm going to increase this performance level and please note that this can be changed once even you have uh, created the database. So pin to dashboard and say create. It's going to take some time for it to create uh, this uh, SQL data warehouse. So for now I'm going to so it says deploying it's going to take some time so I'm going to uh, continue this from the next video about how to connect this SQL data warehouse using SQL Server Management Studio. Thank you for watching.